What's up everybody, Just G here, and I'm super excited to be making the War Machine full armor. You don't even understand. To be honest, I didn't even think I would be making it this soon. But so many of you guys reached out and said, I want to see a full size suit. So here you go. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I fit the armor to my body and then use mesh mixer to slice it up into individual pieces. Those individual pieces will fit now onto my printer, which is the Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus, holy mouthful. Then I'll be reassembling it together to make a fully printed part. So sit tight, this one's about to be a doozy. All right, so here I have Armor Smith pulled up with my little avatar and I have the chest piece with the back piece pulled up together. That way, I know that they both work together. So when I size them both, they're both exactly the same. Now what I'm gonna do is take this the body that I've sized and export it. That way I can pull it up in Mesh Mixer. I have the front chest piece pulled up on a Mesh Mixer and you can see my build plate right behind it. It is way too big for my build plate so I have to cut it up into different pieces. So I was able to cut it up into six different pieces. I have the two lower pieces, the two mid sections, and the two shoulder pieces. Now they can fit on my build plate. From here, I export all these out as an STL and then bring it over to Kira Slicer. Now we have Kira Slicer. This is only one piece. This is the top right shoulder. I have it pulled up. It's sitting in the middle of the build plate. Uh, when I printed it out, I had both pieces. I used my custom profile right here, the G extra fast print. Uh, this is at a 0.3 millimeter layer height. That's the only thing that's really different from my normal settings. I'm also building them using tree supports and I'm going to, instead of 60 millimeter speed, because I don't want to wait all day, I'm going to use 70, seven zero. Okay, so this one piece alone takes 14 hours and 10 minutes. We're just gonna double that up. So, 28 hours. All right, first off, you guys have to excuse me. My printer is really loud right now and I'm working on my next build. So, mind the noise. I wasn't sure how I was gonna approach this build at first. So, I just did what I could and just dove right in. I divided the front chest piece into six individual pieces. After that, I took the two shoulder pieces and attached them to the midsection. So I use this stuff called 3D glue. This is made for PLA. Now this is better than super glue because what this is gonna do is bond the two parts together chemically. I'll make sure I leave a link down in the description so you can buy it for yourself. So I'm gonna clamp these down the best I can with the clamps that I do have. I don't think they're the right clamps for the job, but this is all I have. Now this is gonna take about 15 minutes. So while the shoulders are drying, I start to glue the two bottom pieces together. Now I notice these two pieces don't have the best bond together. The glue isn't quite holding them together. So I'm gonna have to do something else. So I grabbed some extra PLA laying around in the old soldering iron. And now I PLA weld these two things together, front and back. Now I have a much stronger hold. I do the same thing to the two top pieces and now I got one whole piece. It looks pretty rough and beat up right now, but I got a long road to its showroom ready. One small step for man, one giant leap for cosplay mankind. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is a huge step for me. I've never took on a project this big and such a large scale before. This is so awesome, and I couldn't have done it without you guys watching my videos and motivating me to tackle this project. So if you guys are still here, that means you really like my video. Give it a thumbs up. That's gonna really help me show my video to other people. And if you wanna see me finish this War Machine build, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can catch all these videos as I put them out. Thank you guys so much, for real, thank you. And that's gonna be it for me today. So God bless y'all, peace out.